back. So there is a new fast food sandwich that claims to be so spicy, it comes with a free milkshake to extinguish your taste buds. So how spicy is the Diablo Dare? We sent Terry Holloman to try it out. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Terry Holloman back for another Terry Tries It. Now, you know, I don't normally do dares, especially stuff that may cause me pain or discomfort, but I heard that Arby's has a new sandwich, and it's a Diablo hot spicy sandwich, and I'm gonna try that. That's gonna be my dare for the day. Come along, let's try it out. Big appreciate your Arby's. Order another. How you doing? I would like to try the Diablo Dare. It comes with a milkshake. That's how hot it's supposed to be. Anything else you say? Can I get a large glass of water? Do you have a fire extinguisher? Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Can I order some curly fries real quick to go with this just in case? I heard that potatoes um, are good at, you know, tamping down the spice level and stuff, so I need some curly fries. All right, we got our food to go. I brought it home just in case we have any unforeseen events that take place when I open this thing up. So let's take a look. First thing you notice, it's this red bun. Like, I don't know if I've ever seen red bread before. Satan was in the back kneading the bread or something. Some kind of spicy Diablo sauce is what they call it. Monterey Jack ghost pepper cheese. And ghost pepper is like the spiciest pepper on the planet, so. Here we go, everybody. Got my milkshake, got my curly fries, and my water, just in case this is spicier than it's supposed to be. Mm. Got a little spice to it. Kind of get a little jalapeno. A little, whew, a little extra after, yeah, I feel extra. Eat the windpipe. It's definitely not for the faint of heart, for sure. Um, I can't tell exactly where the most spice is coming from, whether it's the ghost pepper cheese or the Diablo sauce that they put on here, but it's definitely something kicking in. Definitely a bite to it. But it's flavorful though. It's flavorful, it's not just unnecessary dumb heat for no reason. It has a good flavor to it. There's definitely some afterburner involved. I can actually feel the sweat starting to beat up from my scalp. Yeah, this definitely has what I call the Michael Jackson effect. Like, when you bite it, you be like, oh! <laughs> Hi. Oh, I was not expecting that. Um, all right, Terry joins us now, hopefully with his windpipe fully recovered. Did you finish it, by the way? Did you finish that sandwich? I ate the whole thing. Mm. I ate the whole thing. Yes. Okay. It was good. So, was it? I mean, did you have? How were the lingering effects afterwards? I mean, did you have to go for a tums later? What happened? No, I, I avoided the tums. The milkshake that they provided did come in handy. I think that was a great marketing tool on behalf of Arby's to put the milkshake in there. But uh, you know, it was really actually not as bad as I was expecting it to be. It was actually pretty good. It's pretty. <laughs> Okay, I didn't actually hear the guy ask you about the milkshake, so they just include the milkshake with the sandwich. I mean, that's just part of the deal. Yeah, I think that's part of the deal. When you order the Diablo Dare, it comes with the milkshake. Again, like I said, I think it was marketing genius to add something that would kind of cool your temperature down from all this heat that you're going to ingest right now. You know, the people at the window seem remarkably calm. I mean, I don't know if I were the person serving that to you, I might try to talk you out of it. Did you feel at all like they were trying to warn you or they were like, hey, good luck, man? <laughs> no, actually it was weirdly like after I ordered it, it got silent. And I think what happened was they were like, all right, everybody, this is not a drill. We got a real one. And they just went and, went and set me up with the fire. Oh man, so did this spice hit you all at once? I mean, it looked like there was a, maybe a delayed effect. So, so here's the deal. It, like I said, it was flavorful and it was different levels of spice. Like uh, immediately you get the roasted jalapeno that they put on there. You taste that. And then I don't know whether it was the Diablo sauce that they add to it or the ghost pepper that cheese. All of a sudden, a little extra, what I call the afterburn came in. It kicked yeah. in and that kind of lingered for a little bit. Did you get, we're looking at the two sandwiches right now. There's chicken and a brisket. Which one did you get? 
I got the chicken. Okay. I figured, you know, I, I trust the chicken. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a brisket snob. I like to barbecue myself, right? Oh, so there's yes. only like three people in the world who I trust the brisket, and two of them live on the other side of the Mason Dixon. So I tried the, the, the chicken. Uh, I figured it might be spicier because it had the breading on it. So I might, I might give Arby's a shot on the brisket next time. I mean, I'm with you on the brisket. I'm very snobby about my barbecue, but if you've never been to Jack's, that's where you're going to lunch with me next time we see each other. All right, the bun. You said you'd never seen red bread. Was there? Was it spicy or was it just food coloring? I mean, have you? I know. I'm, I'm sure any of the viewers have seen red bread. It was. It was actually not too spicy. It was chipotle flavored, oh, and I think again, that's like part essence. of the. You know, yes. Chipotle yes. bread. Whenever you see something red, you immediately think it's hot. So I think that's why they did that. All right, I have to ask you though, because some people, it varies. Are you really into spicy food? I like, I like a mild spice. I'm a one star, two star kind of spice person when I go get Thai food. So what, what about you? I like spice. You know, I'm a, I'm a southern boy. I got southern roots. Um, we like spice down there. But one thing I don't like is just what I call dumb spice. Like spice for no reason. Spice trying to hurt my mouth. I want something that's spicy that tastes good too. Just yes. don't burn my mouth for no reason I... uh, for uh, some kind of dare. I want it to taste good. Yeah, I don't want a ghost pepper spice. Like, what's the point in that? All right, uh, what are you trying next as we uh, wrap this up? You know, I was thinking, you know, since the Winter Olympics is coming up, I might want to try like some kind of frosty cold sport thing. Ooh. So stay tuned. But I'm also, you know, looking to do more things. So I want everybody to hit us up here at New Day Northwest and let us know what you want Terry to try next. You can also hit my Instagram page, social media, Terry Holloman. Holler at me. I love it, Terry Barrow. Thank you so much for being so brave. You're our hero, and we will check in with you soon. I got you. <laughs>